What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So TMZ has reported that Cassie is working closely with the feds as they investigate Diddy. For some of you who may not know, Cassie did file a bombshell lawsuit against Diddy late last year, accusing him of doing all sorts of heinous things to her, like violating her, drugging her, putting hands on her, pimping her out, like every horrible thing you can imagine. Now, Diddy's response to this $30 million lawsuit was pretty quick. I mean, he basically settled out of court within 24 hours, and of course, everyone thought that he was guilty because he reportedly paid her a nine-figure sum, and Diddy probably thought that all was well. Until other people started coming out and accusing him of the same things. It was lawsuit after lawsuit at that point. I think I stopped cutting at about six lawsuits, but yeah... Everybody started coming for him, and before he knew it, the feds raided his Miami and LA homes to obtain evidence to support their investigation. Now, according to TMZ, Cassie seems to be working with the feds as an informant or something, because if anyone knows his dirty little secrets, it's definitely her. They said Diddy's ex, Cassie, has been in touch with the authorities in the federal investigation, not just that. We're told she's cooperating as are others who've sued him. Sources with direct knowledge tell us Cassie is among the witnesses the feds have been in contact with in connection with the Diddy investigation. We're told she's been working with investigators for several weeks, presumably even before Diddy's homes were raided. Given the timing, it seems Cassie may have helped the feds establish probable cause to get a judge to sign off on the search warrants. Other women, we're told, have also been in contact with federal investigators. We don't know what Cassie has told the feds, but presumably it mirrors the lawsuit she filed against Diddy, in which she alleged he forced her to have sex with multiple male prostitutes, her, beat her, and plied her with drugs and alcohol over the course of their relationship. For starters, Cassie working with the feds is not surprising at all. I mean, she was around him for a really long time, and she probably knows a lot more than she told in that 30-something page lawsuit that she filed against him. And I do remember at the time, people were saying she was just in it for a check, but I don't think it was all about money for her. I think she wanted him to suffer the consequences of his actions, and she wanted justice. Justice for her, justice for Kim Porter, justice for everybody that Diddy has hurt and taken down throughout his career. I mean, this is a person who preyed on young women and men. Now, since the home raids, Stevie J has been doing the most. Like, he has been all over social media defending Diddy. For some of you who may not know, Stevie is a longtime friend and producer of Diddy. They go way back, and he is pretty much the only one who has been standing up for Diddy, posting videos on social media, taking random interviews with TMZ and all. He even went as far as threatening 50 Cent for trolling Diddy. I want you to fade, yeah? all that since it's entertainment let me beat the shit out of you on tv or something don't duck that i'm calling you out what you want to do curtis curtis he also reposted a video from diddy's 50th birthday party it was a huge party with all the celebrities you can think of and i think the reason why he chose to repost it now is because he is trying to let people know that these celebrities have been associated with diddy now remember Lil Rod talked about how wild these parties would get in his lawsuit. It was also revealed that Diddy has a lot of hidden cameras in his homes, so it is highly likely that he has incriminating footage on the majority of the people who would attend his parties, so I feel like Stevie posting that video was a reminder to those people that they can be easily exposed. Like he hasn't been acting alone, and he also doesn't intend to go down alone. He plans to take some people with him. Anyway, guys, do let me know your thoughts on this whole situation in the comments down below. Hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Catch you in the next one.